the song of salvage and I sing it very well. It's a tune I'll keep on singing till I cast my lasting spell. Watch the magic happen as we do it once again. A pile of trash that was a home comes back to hold new friends. Upwards from the ashes arise and take new form. No matter what the sins you've seen, neglect, abuse, or scorn, we'll honor all your pieces, yes, your very heart and soul. Preserving all your history, respecting what our goal. Create a tiny village from what others would have burned. A tiny Texas village where survival can be learned. Let's build a house to last ten lives, not simply one or two. Trees that live for centuries, so will our houses too. I sing the song of salvage and I sing it very well. I know within my heart these houses have a soul. I sing the song of salvage and I sing it very well. It's a tune I'll keep on singing till I cast my lasting spell. Ancient trees reached tall and wide to block the sun above. They shaded and protected all of nature with free love. The Bimantan were slaughtered, yes, regardless of their age, without respect and dignity, cut up and hauled away. Houses, buildings, ships, and more. Our trees are trapped within their walls. In prison, they have done their job. Please listen to my call. Why cast them into landfills? Once these structures have to die, insanity and madness just makes me want to cry. Save them, cleanse them, bring them out, expose them to the light, and give them the respect they're due, and give them a new life. None will ever grow again to match their right and age. Centuries to grow a tree, to not be thrown away. Beauty will be loved by all who see its luscious grain. It has a strength unmatched by any speed grown woods today. Use the gifts that we have in hand. Let mother nature rest. Give back respect to salvage wood. It has survived the test. God did his best. He did it right. Respect his work as I. Waste not, want not, make it last. Create a brand new life. Trees to home to eyesore. Abandoned by all men does not mean resurrection you can't prevent a wasteful end see what salvage can create with love and skillful care a home to last 300 years a lifelong new career become a salvage miner dig out and save the souls become a salvage builder and create the tiny homes become a salvage hunter find and save the best we can Let's educate the people, and they'll join us to the end. I sing the song of Savage, and I sing it very well. Because it lasts for centuries, there'll be much more to tell. I sing the song of Savage, and I sing it very well. Because it lasts for centuries, there'll be much more to tell. Salvation comes to many things, not just to human beings. We're salvaging a house and soul, as well as ancient trees. To salve for nature's aching heart, we salvers come to aid. We offer salvage to mankind. Do not be afraid. Quit killing new and save the old. Build homes to last, those strong and small. Conserve your power, water too. Quit wasting all, think old, not new. I sing the song of salvage and I sing it here to you. Do not keep on singing.
singing till I cast my lasting spell. I sing the song of salvage and I sing it here to you. For I know that if you listen, you will see the song is true. So now and then when I am sad, I look inside at thoughts I've had and wonder why, though they are clear, nobody else can see them here. I wrote that poem when I was a teenager, along with a series of others that I'm about to read. I don't think I've ever read these poems in public, and I don't know if you could say this is public, but... Here we go. If you can be yourself, yet share some time with me, and I can feel unshackled when we're walking down the street. If nothing which I do impairs the you that caught my eye, nor do your actions cause unrest within this shell of mine. When we can be together by sharing what we are, and feel that life's more valuable than when we are apart. 
then we should be united while happiness prevails and part upon his absence before the beauty stales. In my youth, I looked at it, I should say, friendship from that perspective. I moved a lot and I wasn't very happy. Here's another short poem. Standing on a passive shore amidst the liquid gold, dipping in the water for the dreams we wish to hold. Too soon on bright horizons where colors mix and melt, our youth is disappearing and our age is slowly felt. So often to the sunset we splash and swim away, maturity the fabled goal we hope to reach someday. I might have been 17 when I wrote that. At 65, that seems like a long time ago. This is called Lost Grip, December of 74. Tense, torn, burning from within, 